So the first thing you need to do is make sure that your battery is disconnected. Then we're going to remove the run tow switch cover from the vehicle. Take it out, move it off to the side for now. Now we've already removed the battery cables and the motor cables from the controller inside here. We need to remove the connector from the controller. To do that, insert your finger behind the connector, pull up on it, and pull back on the connector. It'll pull out easily. Next, we're going to actually remove the controller from it. We've already loosened the bolts inside here. There are three bolts that hold the controller inside. Once you have the bolts removed from the controller mounting plate, remove the entire assembly from the vehicle. What we'll do now is we'll remove the solenoid from the bracket and we'll remove the resistor cage from it as well. We're going to reuse these with the TAC system. and move the resistor off to the side. Next, we'll remove the resistor cage from the back of the controller mount. And we'll be reusing that plate with the TAC controller. Now we'll install the new mounting plate. And we'll be reusing the mounting bolts from the original controller to mount our new plate. and we'll tighten them up. Using the supplied hardware, install the controller onto the mounting plate from the back. Next we're going to hook up our battery negative cable and our motor cables. And then we'll hook up the cables U to U, V to V, and W to W. Next, we're going to remount our resistor onto the resistor cage. And we'll use the supplied wire to run from the resistor to the controller. Next, we'll add the resistor cage and the solenoid back onto the new mounting bracket. So 
So now we'll add our resistor wire to the resistor output of the controller. And finally, we're going to add our battery positive cable. And finally, we'll plug in the controller harness. Next, we'll cover up the uh, controller with the run toe switch plate. And we'll hook up our battery cables. And that completes the install of the TAC2 on the original Danaher RXV.